Mike's LS3 swap starts right now. Okay, so Mike's LS3 swap starts today. Um, there's a lot of preparation right now that we have to do. So I'm kind of gonna come in here and I'm gonna make some space. I gotta move my car over to make space for Mike's. Um, and then I have to get rid of all this crap, pull this out, move this, ditch that somewhere, put the engine somewhere over there. Um, and then pretty much go and grab the car. I'm gonna start washing the engine bay and get it all cleaned up, like I said in my last video. Um, and then we'll push it in here and get started tearing it apart. It's gonna be a long night. Okay, so I just tried pulling the G out and you can see Mike likes to have this thing ridiculously low. So the bumper wasn't going to make it down the driveway and I didn't want to destroy it any more than it's already becoming. So uh, we'll try it again. camera issues but they're solved we got Mike's car over here it's time to start washing okay so that should do it the engine bay is pretty clean I'll use a towel and get some of the finer details in there but Overall, it's pretty clean. There's no more debris, no more oil and stuff um, all over the engine bay. So it's about ready to be pushed into the garage. I'm just waiting on Mike. I can't do it myself. This driveway is pretty steep. I know the camera doesn't really show it, but you saw with the G, I can't really push it up by myself. So I'll wait till Mike gets here and uh, we'll get it in the garage. Car ain't been this dirty since it was at Twinkie Body Shop. Look. Look, camera wars. Now, now we're doing things. I don't know, man. My mic's better than yours, though. Yours is. Hey, Yo, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to put you on with this little, this little dinker mic right here. Yeah, so you can see that's what that one looks like. That's what Mike's looks like. All right, enough. Well, in order for them to see that, they gotta, they gotta, you gotta watch both. Go my video. You gotta go to his video. Look at his mic. My see? mic is better. You can. I'm, I already know. Well, yeah. your mic probably is better. You need a, You know what? I think I got some of those. I'm gonna give you one of these little dead hats. The little kitty thing right here. Oh, Hold yeah. on. Look at that. I'm gonna give you that. I got an extra one. Can you hear me? Mic check. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one of these though. That way it doesn't, like when you move the camera, you can hear it go like a little tinker on yours. I don't wanna hear that. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna give you the other, oh, okay. other dead cat. All right, enough fuck around. Let's do this. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, we got the engine bay. It's all cleaned up. Everything's looking nice. No more oil, no more debris. What you think, fool? It looks better than it ever looked. About ready to go. I don't think this engine bay will ever get this clean again. Well, let's hope we don't have to pull the motor out. Oh, you missed a spot. Oh. Here, give me a, give me around here. That way, it look like I'm like doing some. Yeah, this some is work. one percent of work that Mike's gonna be doing. This is his dirty. Watch, look oh. at his finger. Woo! Man. Hold on, right here. Woo! If you guys watch Mike's video, you'll see that I was just in the engine bay. That's the kind of friend I am. Hey, nah. I actually, oh. you see this hoodie? I came, I came prepared to work today. Yeah, and his jammies. Look at this. You see these whooped ass Jordans? They all yellow. That's how you know I don't care about these. <laughs> They all corroded. All right, it's about ready to go down though. All right, we're switching cameras now. Yeah. I got, well, I didn't get the car. More like Mike and two other people got the car. Yeah, y'all have to sit in the driver's seat. Yeah, see, he's worn out. He thought both of us could get it. So it's up here now. I had, I Driveway's had, clear. I have more faith in my in my quads than, than I thought. <laughs> Is that right? 
right. And like Mike pointed out, my car runs, so I pretty much have a whole garage to be able to do this. But you didn't tell him what just happened, though. This fool had his car right next to mine, a little tiny space, and we were both reaching in trying to yeah. trying to get the, uh, the hood latch and shit. To, to be fair, my car hasn't ran in, what, a year? Well, actually, it ran, but it blew up after two times. So, so it really hasn't ran for like a year. So I was used to my car being parked here right next to Mike's because his is, is always in here too. Broken. And broken. Yeah. But we're trying to fix that. So I got the smart idea that, hey, my car runs now. So we have it parked out here. Maybe you should move the car so we can get into space. It's time to get started. Okay, Mike's moving the engine in here. But to kind of show you, right now all we have to do is pretty much pull the front clip off. You can see I have the bolts pretty much taken out, so it's only gonna take a couple minutes to get the whole front clip off. Um, to get my car finished, I had to take a bunch of stuff off of Mike's car, so um, it actually made it a lot easier for me. I'm gonna take the shifter out of the inside. It's not that bad. Pretty much unscrew the shifter knob and then um, pull the shifter assembly out and then it's pretty much everything underneath is just the cross member and then I have to pull the four bolts off and since the tranny isn't hooked up to an engine anymore it'll pretty much just fall out the bottom and we can get started mating it to the LS engine so uh, I'm gonna do that now and I'll come back to you when the front clips off we're getting ready to pull off the AC compressor move this stuff out of the way and then we'll start getting the engine dialed in pull off the tranny and uh Jack it up, get it ready to go. What the hell? This shit is retarded. You got it sideways. Well, I know I do now. Turn it the regular way. I'm trying to turn it the regular way. If it's, if it's sideways. Okay, so I don't know no, what. Cut it, cut it off and then, then, then redo it. Whatever. Not, worst case scenario, just, just I'm gonna turn it around. Yeah, uh, when I put it in from here, I'll turn it around. So right now it looks kind of weird. I don't know what's going on with my GoPro. But we got it up, it's up on jack stands, ready to go. I'm gonna get under this thing and pull the tranny out and then we'll get started mating it to the new LS engine. Okay, kinda got sidetracked a little bit. We got the transmission out. You can see that the engine bay is completely empty. Right now we're working on putting the mounts on the side. So I'm just gonna take off the factory ones and I don't even know where the other ones are at. Man, one of those boxes. They're over here somewhere. We'll find it. Oh, there it goes. ISR. So, got to put these on. So, I'm gonna work on that right now and get it started. The other thing, too, the mounts, the way the ISR ones work, is these actually mount to the subframe. And then the other ones that I just showed you actually mount to the block. And then it'll pretty much sit in just like that. So, about to get that started now. Okay, so we got the mounts on. You can see how they look pretty beefy. On both sides. So we need to put the C-clamps on the subframe, but I think we're gonna leave them loose and they have a slide this way and the other one slide this way. So we'll be able to make sure that the engine's sitting in nice and flat. Um, I got a level, we'll level it out and go from there. All right, right now we're working on the transmission. Uh, we have to change the back of the shifter housing. As you can see, there's quite a big difference as far as how long this will stick out and how long this will stick out. Um, with this engine, it actually pushes it back a whole lot farther in the trans tunnel. So for this to be able to come out the factory hole where the shifter comes, we change this. So right now I'm working on changing this as well. Kind of bend this out and you'll put this in here and then we'll bolt this on to the factory location and we'll be good to go. like that then I'll squeeze these back together we'll put this one on here and it will be good to go Just sit right over top. 
like it never happened. You can see we have the shifter part all on, installed, machined. It's a really well built part. LOJ killed it with this one. Um, Mike has the ISR one, but we went with this because it just looks so damn good. And I used it on my car, so I know that it runs great. Um, I had no issues with it. And uh, yeah, so I kind of believe in the LOJ kit. Everything that I used with it, it went flawless. There was no issues, there's no fitment issues. Um, it was everything that I expected the swap to go. So I'm gonna make sure that Mike's is that way too. So we, uh, we use this and now it's time to mate it to the engine. Okay, we unwrapped the flywheel and this is Mike's clutch off of the old VQ engine that will work. It's pretty new. You can see on it, there's not really a whole lot of wear on it. Six putt, it'll be a good clutch for it. And then here's the ISR plate that we're gonna be doing. We gotta figure out which bolts go to it, but it's a really well done piece. I don't know if you saw Mike's vlog on the LOJ versus the ISR kit, but this plate in general, I actually like this one better because it has this block off right here. Um, I don't know, go watch his vlog. You'll see everything about it. But we're gonna use this. We're gonna mate it up to the engine right now. It's pretty self-explanatory, so I need to go get the engine uh, hoist, and then we'll mount it up and uh, show you the progress. Let's do this. Damn, my battery on here is almost dead. Put that shit on the charger in no. between time to meantime. Yep. Anyway, we got the plate all bolted up, everything red lock tied it in. Looks good. These four black bolts, easy. <laughs> They're for the bell housing. So we're gonna put the flywheel on now. That's racist. Uh, that was racist. Yeah, it was a little bit. I mean, do you hear what he calls me all the time? <laughs> That's different though. Oh yeah, yeah, it's only a one-way street. I'm part white. So I can say like racist remarks towards like your white side, because I'm part white. But oh, you don't oh. have no black in you. So it's not it's not racist <laughs> if, you, if you fit both in both categories. See? Yeah. <laughs> See, Whatever. See hey, you know works. what? We're not here to talk about works. racial slurs or racial comments. We're going to put this on and we're going to get it if bolted they, up. If they only knew all the shit we talk off camera. Word. <laughs> all right, everything's put together. You can see we got his clutch on. It's all aligned. You look inside, you can see the roller bearing. Everything's bolted up. It's ready to go. So now the next part is to stab the tranny on it and we'll be done for the night. Stab the tranny. Stab it. That sounds Stab. so homo. Yeah, whatever. Stab the tranny. It's a, it's a tech or is term. It, it sounds like a hate crime. Hey, we were just talking about racist shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's it. We did it. Yep. It's together. Ready to go in. There it is. Everything's all put together. It mounted up. This shit went super smooth. I mean, for it's what it is. Good. Hey, I mean, fingers crossed. But. We're wrapping it up for tonight. Everything here is ready to go in. We have one plug we have to put in up under here. Um, apparently there's a breather, right? It was a breather or heat something exchanger. that came. Heat exchanger that or came. The factory oil cooler. It's like a factory oil cooler that goes in there. Here's the plug that we took out of it. Um, on my old LS6, we have the plug, but I don't have the socket right now to get it off. So we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. But Tomorrow, the engine will go in, we'll put it all together, we'll put the headers on, we'll put the drive shaft, start putting the front back together and have everything done. So What, we, what we're really hoping though, is that since we're using the LLJ oil pan, and then we're like flipping it with the ISR mounts, we're hoping that this still lines up. Oh yeah. Works how it needs to be. That's the only thing that we're kind of worried about, but for the most part it should. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't, then we'll just have to swap to the LLJ mounts. But yeah, we have everything that we need to make it work. Luckily, we have you know two kits, and we're just picking from the best of both worlds. But yeah, if we can make this setup work with the ISR mounts, then it'll be perfect, honey. Yeah. So these mounts, um, they bolt a little bit different than the LOJ mounts. Um, and what Mike's talking about is the depth of this. We don't know if these are going to sit too low on the subframe where the pan's gonna hit because it does come with Canton Racing's pan um, and it's a little bit different setup. So, I don't know, we'll see you tomorrow, huh? All right, we will. that's it, it's a wrap.